Hello everyone, Soberoni of GNA Reviews here, bringing you a look at the upcoming New Year's GSSR banner in FGONA. The GSSR banner, or Guaranteed SSR banner, is a special banner that appears usually about twice a year in FGO, which allows you to use 15 paid Saint Quartz to guarantee one SSR servant, depending on the banner that you're rolling. Usually the way the GSSR banners work changes with each iteration, and this time is no different. For New Year's, we're going to be receiving nine separate GSSR banners, featuring only limited servants. Each class is going to have its own banner, and there's going to be two different banners for the extra classes. However, you're only going to be able to pick one banner, and you're only going to be able to roll that banner once so deciding which banner to pick is extremely important. And that's where this guide comes in. I'm going to go over the pros and cons for each gacha and give my recommendations for which banners are the best options depending on your playstyle. As always though, the most important thing is to roll for your favorite waifu or husbando. This video is purely a gameplay analysis for those of you who are having trouble deciding. So if you're ready to take a look at the banners, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and ring my bell so that you can catch more of these videos because I have plenty of FGO guides coming up for 2022, and I also have a giveaway in the works for this very GSSR banner, and you don't want to miss out on that, so do make sure to subscribe. And with that said, let's take a look at the Limited Saber Banner. The Saber Banner is one of the largest, and it features a wide range of limited servants, including Arthur Prototype, Saber Astolfo, Okita, Sigurd, Nero Bride, Benny Enma, Musashi, and Saber Shiki. And right off the bat, the biggest upside to this banner is how many well-rounded and strong DPS options there are, with servants like Musashi, Nero Bride, and Benny Enma being some of the best DPS servants in the game, even to this day in JP, so they have a very long shelf life. However, if you're in the market for AoE or farming servants, there isn't going to be much of that here, as the only AoE servants on raid up in this banner are going to be Arthur Pendragon and Saber Shiki, so even though they're both pretty good, your chances of rolling them are going to be very slim. So I only recommend rolling this gacha if you're in the market for a strong single target servant who you can utilize as a boss killer, otherwise you might want to look elsewhere. Following the Saber banner, we have the Limited Archer banner, which includes raid-ups for Archer Arturia, Ishtar, Gil, Summer Jean, Moriarty, and Super Orion. Unlike with the Saber banner, there are a lot of very powerful AoE servants here, and pretty much every servant on raid-up is a top-tier servant, so you really can't go wrong, especially if you manage to draw Super Orion, Gil or Ishtar who are all top of the class. If I were to make a bit of a nitpick about this banner though, it is important to note that all of these servants have very different playstyles, so you might not be aware of what role you're going to get. That said though, if you're in the market for a strong buster servant, especially an AoE one, or if you're planning way ahead and you want to build a team for the Vich meta, then this is going to be the banner for you. While the Saber and Archer banners may be packed with limited servants, the Lancer banner is surprisingly small. There are only going to be four or limited Lancers, those being Erish Kegel, Skahawk, Summer Tamamo, and Brynhilda. So on the bright side, this does mean you have a 25% chance of getting Erish Kegel. However, on the downside, it's still very few options, and Bryn, Erish Kegel, and Skahawk all have raid-ups later on this year. So honestly, you can just save for those if you're interested in any one of them in particular. Which means your only real reason for rolling this banner is if I guess you're a huge Erish Kegel fan, and the 25% odds sound good to you. And moving on to the Calvary classes, we have the Rider class banner, which is going to feature raid-ups for Summer Salter, Ivan, Iskander, Lily Da Vinci, and Reynas. As you can immediately tell, there is a lot of diversity in card type and playstyle among this selection, as it's almost equally split between Quick, Arts, and Buster servants. However, all of them still manage to be very strong pickups, so again, you can't go wrong with any of them. The two best of the bunch though are definitely Reynas and Lily Da Vinci, Reynas being one of the premier NP supports in the game, and Lily Da Vinci being one of the best Arts farmers in the game. It is a bit ironic though that this banner doesn't feature two of the best rider DPSs in the game, Ozymandias and Quetzalcoatl, so there is an argument to be made that you might just want to wait for raid-ups for one of them instead of rolling this one. 
Still though, if you just want a safe banner to roll, this is probably one of the best choices, because no matter who you pull, they're going to be a decent servant that you can build around. And speaking of building around servants, next up we have the Caster Banner, which is no doubt going to feature the best supports in the game, with raid ups for Merlin and Scotty, as well as raid ups for Ilya, Caster Nero, Murasaki, and Da Vinci. As I mentioned, this banner does feature raid ups for Merlin and Scotty, who are currently the two best servants in the game, so if those are two servants that you're after, then by all means, this is the banner you want to roll. Just keep in mind though, that the rest of the banner is littered with Caster DPS servants, and those are generally on the weaker side, although Caster Nero is pretty good. But if you're someone who's looking to build a quick team, or who still doesn't have Merlin, then this is going to be your best chance. Next up, we have the Assassin Banner, which features raid ups for Kama, Cleo, Shuten, Semiramis, MHX, and King Hassan. Now, I know the immediate reaction to this lineup is that Kama and King Hassan are the best targets here. After all, they are two of the strongest single target DPS servants in the game. But I think that the real value of this banner actually lies in the fact that there are three AoE assassins on raid up, and that role is very rare. If you are someone who doesn't have Grey, the chances are that you don't have a very strong AoE assassin for farming. And if that is the case, then I do recommend you giving this banner a roll for the chance of pulling Cleo, Shuten, or Semiramis. And hey, you might get lucky and get Kama or King Asan anyway. But if you're just after Kama, it might be better to just save up for her raid up, which is later on this year. And finally, capping off the normal classes, we have the Berserker banner which is going to feature raid ups for Arjuna Alter, Kintoki, MHX Alter, Hijikata, Raiko, and Musashi Berserker. Now obviously this banner features tons and tons and tons of firepower, and any one of these servants can easily hard carry you through 90% of the story. And Arjuna Ultra in particular is probably the best offensive servant in the game, while Musashi Berserker is one of the best farmers in the game. So these are some very high value targets. Just keep in mind though that there really isn't any diversity outside of just damage on this banner, so I only recommend this for players who really need a hard carry, especially newer players who just want to blitz through the story. And while I normally wouldn't advise rolling one of these banners just to get one specific servant, since the chances are so low, I make a special exception with Gajuna, because he really doesn't have any other raid ups right now. So if Arjuna Alter is a servant that you really really want, then you should definitely try to pull him on this banner. And moving on to the first of two extra banners, we have the Avenger and Ruler banner, which features raid ups for Amakusa, Ruler Artoria, Shi Huangdi, Holmes, Dante's, Jolter, Space Ishtar, and Avenger Nobu. Despite having such a wide range of servants on raid up, nearly all of them are excellent. The Ruler class is probably the best in the game, and it is filled to the brim with carries. Amakusa and Shi Huangdi in particular are two of the best servants in the game when it comes to tough content. But even among the Avengers, Dante's is one of the best farmers in the game if you happen to have Scotty, while Space Ishtar is the best farmer in the game once Castoria comes out, and even Jalter is one of the better DPSs. So this banner is absolutely filled to the brim with top tier carries and supports. Just about the only blemish is Nobu unfortunately, who is one of the weaker 5 stars. However, she does have a few strengthening quests coming up which will make her much better, and she's still a top tier waifu. Still though, I recommend anyone looking for a good servant to build around roll this banner, as almost all of these servants are excellent and can deal with most of the content in the game and be relevant even into the late game. New players especially should be interested in rolling this banner, as should people who are building challenge quest teams. And last but not least, we have extra banner number 2, which is going to feature raid ups for the Alter Ego, Moon Cancer, and Foreigner servants, including Saber Okita Alter, King Protea, Kiara, Melt, Summer BB, Abigail, and Hokusai. Much like with the Archer banner, this one features a lot of very good AoE servants, and some incredibly rare servants at that. It's also worth considering that you have a high chance of pulling an Alter Ego on this banner, and they are a very rare and strong offensive class. Unlike the Ruler and Avenger banner though, there aren't really that many super OP standouts aside from Melt and Kiara. The rest of the servants on this banner are more niche, although they're still strong for the most part 
part, so it's still a relatively safe banner to pull. I would recommend pulling this banner for anyone who doesn't already have an alter ego, because an anti-Calvary servant is great to have. And that's what I think about the upcoming GSSR banners. Again, if you do have a favorite servant though, you should definitely roll on the banner that that servant is a part of, and I wish you luck in your rolls. If I did have to pick a best banner and a worst banner, I would say that the Ruler and Avenger banner is probably the best and safest option, while the Lancer banner is probably the weakest since 75% of it is going to be on rate up later on in the year anyway. But let me know which banner you guys are planning to roll in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you really enjoyed the video. Follow us over on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, and join the party on our Discord, all linked in the description down below. And I'll see you all in the next FGO guide. Silver Oni signing out. Later.